Hey, it's Kasim with Solutions 8, and today I want to talk about exclusions inside of Google Ads. Um, it's actually, I think, a really cool feature that often gets overlooked or underlooked, um, just meaning people don't use it as often as they could or should. Uh, and so I just want to walk through some of the possibilities with you and hopefully provide some value. Um, now, what's interesting about exclusions is, um, first, let's talk about how to get there. So uh, when you're inside your campaign under audiences, click on exclusions. Um, and then you end up in your exclusions area. And now we can look at the audio exclusions possibilities. Um, I'm going to ignore this just momentarily. Uh, first of all, you can exclude from campaigns or just ad groups. Uh, but let's click on browse. We can exclude on a demographic basis. So things like parental status, marital status, education, home ownership status. Um, I think a few of these are pretty interesting depending on your, um, your business, of course. So, you know, let's say that I was a dating site. I might want to exclude people that are in a relationship and married. Um, you know, if I'm a, a, an IVF program, I want, I want to exclude parents, those types of things. Um, so excluding on a demographic basis is interesting. Um, excluding on, uh, according to an affinity audience, uh, is also, so I, you know, we're all used to, so used to targeting people according to affinity audiences, but it might also be really interesting to exclude. So another example, if you're into debt consolidation, for instance, you know, you might want to exclude people that have, um, lifestyle and hobbies for, um, that, that might be predictive indicators that they are of a, a higher net worth, just as an example. Um, so a lot of really interesting opportunities here, uh, just to make sure that you're, you're further honing and tightening up your campaign. Uh, I like exclude audiences specifically if um, I'm going after, I have a really broad reach and I, and I find myself searching for needles in a stack of needles. So if you don't find ways to tighten up your campaign proactively, you know, so qualifying key phrases, um, specific audience segments, then you might be able to tighten up your campaign reactively in a way uh, just by adding exclusions. Like, well, I definitely know I don't want these people and I definitely know I don't want these people. So that's one way to use excluded audience. Uh, another thing that's really cool and worth mentioning, uh, I'll take you over to my remarketing campaign here. Um, inside of this remarketing campaign, this is a dummy account, but uh, inside this remarketing campaign in excluded audiences, we added um, people who had filled out our contact form because I don't necessarily want to remarket to you if you've already filled out my form per se, or if I do, then maybe I want to send you a different remarketing campaign, you know, testimonials, case studies, brand building, that type of thing. So um, spend some time thinking about who shouldn't see your ads because it's really easy to add some exclude audiences and it could save you quite a bit in the way of um, ad spend. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Comments get read and responded to by me and I hope I get to see you on the next video. Talk to you tomorrow.